So you have a motion for this? No, we don't have a motion. We don't have just a presentation. Just a, we've already it's already been approved for a town meeting. Right. Okay. Board okay. of Health Mutual Aid Agreement. Next. Um, as I had reported to the board at uh, its last meeting, uh, town council had ruled the uh, Board of Health needs to submit to you a written recommendation. Um, the approval recommendation. And in fact, they did not be it tomorrow evening. So I would ask you to uh, take no action. Sabari, could we be sure to get a copy of that before the next meeting? Yeah, just, to, just so we can look it over. Absolutely. Okay. Any idea of when? Uh, yeah, our next meeting is town meeting, so we're not going <coughs> to. Yeah, I would expect for, for the next meeting after that. I think mean, the concern that the, the health department staff had is that they wanted the chairman of the board to sign off on it and review because the mutual aid agreement commits the town to take specific items, and I think the chairman. Older Americans Month, and we want to celebrate it in North Reading, and we want to celebrate it at our senior center. So I've asked the board to make a proclamation, which you have in front of you, to declare the month of May Older American Month in the uh, town of North Reading. we are running is a free lunch to anybody who likes to visit our senior center during the month of May. One time offer only, however, and those are even to our regulars to be able to come up to the senior center, see what we're all about, look at our resources, and uh, open up the community to who we are and what we do up there. So thank you very much for having that proclamation tonight. Uh, we have uh, a few speakers. We have an attorney coming to speaking about a state. A few attorneys are coming. Evidently, this is Elder Law. Attorney Month also, so we have some speakers coming. We have a program for Mother's Day. We have um, 
some great exercise programs going on that we're trying to get more people into our exercise programs and to our lunch programs and more importantly um, to advocate and do our outreach. We do more at the, you know, we do a lot of things at the senior center, but we do a lot in our department as far as outreach and trying to serve all the seniors and their families in a lot of ways. So thank you for having me here tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Keep us the good work. <coughs> yeah, the next time we learn how to gender up the back of the church, it doesn't appeal to have uh, disabled American veterans. <laughs> this is a letter that uh, was sent to the board. Right up on the front of the No, I understand. I understand. Oh, okay. okay. I, just, uh, I thought I'd read the letter. Yep, sure. First, uh, the Thomas F. Hayes Memorial Chapter, number 37, Reading, Massachusetts, request permission of the time not ready to hold our annual Forget Me Not Drive from May 4th, 2007 to May 13th, 2007. All of the donations collected on this drive will be used for hospital and welfare work described by the disabled American veterans in the national, state, and local chapter by us. We would appreciate permission from the town to hold this fundraiser. Please send in letter form and authorization with our approval so we can place it on file. If for any reason you need any further information in addition to the above, please call the undersigned. May leave a detailed message in the answer machine. No answer sincerely. Chairman, I move to proclaim May 4th through 13th, 2007, as Disabled American Veterans Forget Me Not Week and read the attached proclamation. Second. Motion made by Mr. Dino, seconded by Mr. Dino. All in favor? Aye. 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 Whereas our community has a continuing sense of gratitude to those disabled veterans who did so much <coughs> to preserve the American way of life, and whereas the disabled American veterans has worked exclusively for the welfare of our disabled veterans, and whereas the Thomas F. Hayes Memorial Chapter 37 of the DAV has been established to carry on this work in our community, and whereas the DAV offers free service to disabled veterans and their families in filing claims for government benefits and assists disabled veterans with medical employment, medical, I'm sorry, comma, employment and other problems. And whereas the DAV meets emergency situations which may arise in the family of a disabled veteran, and whereas the DAV has chosen May 4th to the 13th for its annual Forget Me Not campaign in our community and has announced that all funds collected will be used for disabled veterans of the community. Now, therefore, we, the Board of Selectmen of North Reading, do hereby proclaim the week of May 4, 2007 through May 13, 2007 as Disabled American Veterans Forget Me Not Week and urge the support of all citizens and organizations for that week.
$565 of additional state aid for the school year 2008. And the latest available information, that number is not budged. So basically, we're, we're at an amount which is consistent with what we originally budgeted, plus $1,565. Okay, it's also my understanding the Finance Committee is in support of the $100,000 transfer that we made. Correct. No, they weren't originally. Yeah, I, I think I, I think so, although I can't specifically recall whether they took a vote or not. Uh, but they seem to be a show of hands that indicated that they support. I'm trying to remember now until we sit in there opposite one another at a meeting. I, I don't think they voted, but the show of hands indicated that the majority so my question is, in this handout, are we going to change their recommendation? Well, they are interesting enough that we might say, I, I would, would fail to vote with that board, I would hesitate to change any of their, uh, any of their information. Well, what is the plan for putting that up on the website? That's what I'm well, I think it will go up uh, probably toward the, uh, probably work toward the end of the week after the Finance Committee meets and we can understand whether they vote any additional changes as a result of the information that's become available to them. Would it be possible then to target firmly Thursday to get it up? I was hoping we could get it up soon. I, I don't see why, why not. Unless there's a remarkable change in state aid between now and Thursday. Yeah, you know, which would cause? Which would cause a, a but I, don't, I really don't see that happening. Okay, and, and as far as the level services numbers, there's no changes to that that we're aware of. School, so. Anybody aware of what those numbers are? I happen to have the occasion of uh, meeting with the Chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee last week. And uh, he was pretty steadfast in the position that he didn't anticipate any change in the uh, state aid formula that presented it. Even though there's 1,400 or so of <coughs> amendments proposed to be uh, disposed of this week. Side, it's twenty million seven hundred one thousand two hundred and forty two dollars, and that includes the additional hundred thousand dollars that we had moved from our budget to theirs. And the fixed cost budget sitting at twelve million five hundred ninety six thousand one hundred and sixty six dollars for a total of forty four thousand forty four million seven hundred eighty nine thousand and twenty six dollars. The FY uh, override. Uh, Level services budget for FY 2008 is municipal $11,944,311, which replaces all the cuts that they made, a total of about $300,000, plus the addition of one full FTP half for human resources and half for uh, IT. Is that correct? That's it. School department, uh, twenty-one million six hundred twenty-nine thousand one hundred sixty-two dollars. Uh, that includes uh, elimination of all the cuts as, uh, in the balanced budget and the addition of eight positions. That was eight, that was eight, eight positions. And fixed cost number of twelve million seven sixty-seven one sixty-six, and that's up a little bit because it reflects the additional. Details, of course, would be on the municipal side, would be the appropriate columns in the, uh, the omnibus article that will be published uh, on the town website, and a handout will be available at uh, town meeting. Just getting back to our earlier discussion on the Marissa position, it's not reflected in the budget at all anywhere? No, it's not. So, what do you want to do there? Well, how can you, I mean, what, what would you put in there? Uh, since we don't know, A, how much they're going to spend for Well, I, I think you can put in any number, any reasonable number, and then just, uh, you know, ask her to say, you know, supposed to be, uh, 
appropriate for the revolving time. It should be appropriate at any rate time.